What's up, everybody? My name is Joe Brown. This is Heresy Financial, and what did I tell you? Beginning this month, the Federal Reserve is going to start tapering their asset purchases. Um, they announced it today. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what exactly that means, uh, because taper this time means something differently than taper used to mean. And uh, I'm also going to talk about what that will lead into uh, based on the last couple of videos that I've done about this uh, in terms of its effect on the market and then what the response will be after that. Ready? Let's dive in. All right, guys, you can see here, this is the press release that the Federal Reserve issued today. And you can see here that later this month is when they are going to start this process. Uh, so it is November, right on schedule, what they've been signaling to the market for a couple of months now, uh, right on schedule, beginning later this month, they're going to start decreasing the amount that they're increasing their balance sheet buy. Uh, and so right now they buy at least $120 billion worth of assets every month. What the composition of that is, is uh, $80 billion of treasuries, that's US federal government bonds, and $40 billion worth of uh, mortgage backed securities. So they're going to be decreasing it by $10 billion for the treasury securities and $5 billion for the mortgage backed securities every single month. And what that's going to do is a total of $15 billion every month. If you divide 120 by 15, you get eight. And that means at the current pace that they're decreasing their asset purchases by as long as they keep it up, and that's a big key, they will have no more increases to their balance sheet come August next year. And so uh, they detail here that beginning in December. So next month, um, well, this month they're going down to 70 billion because they do 80 billion right now um, of uh, treasuries, 35 billion of mortgage-backed securities. Beginning in December, it goes down to 60 and 30. It will continue at that pace uh, because they said they judge that similar reductions will take place uh, going forward from there every month. Now, I made a video, I don't know, a week or two ago about how uh, the Federal Reserve is going to trigger the next market crash. Um, the mechanisms that cause this to happen, I'm not going to go into all the detail here because I made the full video about it. You can watch it. I'll have both of these videos linked in the description below. Uh, but the mechanism behind it are partly the that an economy becomes addicted to easy money, to easy credit. And the economy right now is sitting on a foundation of record low interest rate debt. Now, uh, pulling back on the amount of new money entering the economy is uh, done by uh, reducing their asset purchases. And so there is going to be less demand, less purchasing of these bonds, treasuries and mortgage-backed securities. Now, without them directly raising the short-term interest rate, the federal funds rate, what that does is just by reducing their purchases, interest rates are going to go up. Let's uh, take a look at a chart here, what interest rates have been doing today. So the short end spiked a little bit this morning. It's coming back down. If we look out at the uh, 20 and 30 year, we can see rates are moving up. They have, they have, they're not exerting direct control over these interest rates, the long-term interest rates, yet they're going up because they're not uh, targeting specific interest rates for anything but the shortest end of the curve. For the long end of the curve, 30, 20, and uh, even 10 years, their only uh, 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 impact on those interest rates is the amount of purchasing that they're doing. Uh, and now that that purchasing is going away, the market's starting to look at that, they're front running it a little bit, and uh, rates are starting to go up. And so without them even having to uh, raise the interest rates that they directly control, long-term interest rates are going up. So you get a uh, reduction in the amount of new money entering the economy, you get an increase in interest rates, this will trigger a crash. Markets right now are eating it up. You look at the S&P 500, loves it. You look at the NASDAQ, loves it. You look at the Dow, loves it. You look at the Russell 2000, loves it. And by the way, I tweeted a couple of days ago that uh, this channel that the Russell 2000 has been trading in has been flat for you know the entire year versus the Dow, the NASDAQ, and the S&P 500 have been really outperforming. Looks like that trend uh, might reverse now. Russell 2000 might outperform. What I'm expecting to happen here is a blow off top in stocks. I'm expecting stocks to still perform well, even though there's a cliff that we're approaching, uh, a fiscal cliff where the, the um, or a monetary cliff where the amount of money uh, in the economy 
is starting to uh, not contract, but it's approaching uh, contracting. Um, with the increase in long-term interest rates, it might actually uh, start contracting here. Gold and silver, you see, uh, put in bottoms and have rallied off their bottoms, especially Bitcoin here. This as well is expected because this is one of those buy the rumor, sell the facts type of things. Gold has been going down since last August on fears of tightening and tapering. That has been priced in now. It has started to happen now. Now that it's uh, started to happen, I expect this to be the bottom. I could be wrong. I expect this to be the bottom now that tapering has started. And uh, just like it happened back in uh, 2015, as soon as uh, tightening started here, you know, gold was going down for these years on fears of the Fed tightening. As soon as they started tightening, that was the bottom. Gold started to go up from there. I expect a similar dynamic to happen now. Now, the one thing that we need to uh, con consider here is that it says... Um, the uh, Fed is prepared to adjust the pace of purchases if warranted by changes in the economic outlook. So what's going to happen? There will be changes in the economic outlook, 100% absolutely. And this is the other thing that I was talking about. They're going to trigger a crash here. We're going to see a blow off top. We're going to see a melt up here as the, uh, the amount of monetary expansion is slowed. Maybe even we hit some monetary contraction due to both the heightened interest rates, the amount of government borrowing that we're about to see explode here at the 1 trillion, 2 trillion, 3.5 trillion spending bills they're trying to push through. We're going to see an explosion in spending. It's going to push interest rates up because the Fed, they're not buying as much as they used to. And so we are going to see a crash be triggered as a result of this. And as that starts to happen, as the economy starts to melt down, as you start to see potential insolvency from long-term interest rates going up, as you start to see mortgage rates going up and mortgage applications slow down as, re as a result of the uh, mortgage-backed security purchases going down, the Federal Reserve will at some point I think before they get to the end of, uh, you know, being able to get this, per their purchase rate down to zero sometime before August next year, everything starts to fall apart. Something happens. Liquidity crisis strikes somewhere. So there's, you know, you don't, you don't, uh, that like uh, Warren Buffett says, you don't know who's swimming naked until the tide goes out. They're starting to put the tide out. Now, somebody's going to be caught uh, swimming naked and it's going to trigger kind of a, a cattle, it's going to be kind of like a domino effect. They're going to step back in and that's when they're going to start all the, they're going to pull out all of the, all the stops. Uh, the six things that I mentioned in my video about what they do after the crash, it'll kill the economy, price controls, uh, universal basic income, potentially uh, purchasing uh, equities uh, to uh, float the stock market back up. Um, just all sorts of crazy things that uh, we haven't seen them do yet. We've just seen them do shadows of so far and uh, things that are outside of their legal mandate, but Congress do, uh, turns a blind eye and lets them do it anyway because it rescues the economy. So that's what's started here. The countdown to the crash has started today as they've just announced they're gonna start tapering. The economy cannot support it. They won't be able to get down to zero. They won't be able to even approach raising short-term interest rates, but long-term interest rates are going up as a result of what they're doing right now. And uh, that will trigger the crash. And it's just a matter of when, not a matter of if. So that's all I have for you today. Wanted to let you know it's happening. It started. We'll see where this takes us. As always, really appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.